Good morning, guys. Hey, I want to start off today with sharing some lyrics from a song from when I was um, very young. And um, it just came back to me this morning. I was thinking about the scripture. Um, it goes, Oh, trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. And it is so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take him at his word just to rest upon his promises, just to know, thus saith the Lord. It reminds me of John 15, when Jesus is saying, if you would just abide in me and abide in my, um, my word, um, my, my joy will be with you and your joy will be complete. And he even tells the Jews um, in, in John 8, he's like, um, if you abide, that means if you would just hang on to my word, you are truly my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. So David knew this. He knew God's word was powerful. He knew God's promises um, would um, and help him endure. So what happened in Psalm 56 is today's scripture. And in verse three and four, um, David um, well, let me back up. David was captured by the Philistines. So he um, was being um, in a place of the enemies, of course. Um, so he says, when I am afraid, verse 3, um, it's not if I am afraid or if I ever get afraid, it's when I am afraid. So David admits that he gets scared. Um, this man who spent many hours alone with God, who um, sang songs, wrote psalms, he is admitting that he gets scared. I put my trust in you, in God, whose word I praise, in God I trust. I shall not be afraid. What can flesh do to me? So he goes from saying, when I am afraid, to I shall not be afraid. So what is happening in between is as he is remembering, I will put my trust in you, in God whose word I praise. So he is remembering that he has these promises in his heart um, that he's recalling and he is going, um, he's recalling those and, and saying them over them himself. And even though he may not see them right at that moment in captivity of the Philistines, he's believing that God is who he says he is. So um, I put together a list of some verses that if we were in a similar situation that um, we might say over ourselves, because we, um, like David, are um, all tempted in, to be fearful. We um, all have our own places um, where we are drawn to be af afraid. Maybe it's for our children. Maybe um, it's in the world events. Um, maybe it's our finances that you struggle with or um, a jobs um, or unemployment, um, whatever that might be. Um, but these are verses that you can say over yourself. Um, just an example. Um, because he loves me, I will rescue him. That's God speaking in, in Psalm 91. Also, he is in your midst, ready to rejoice over you, quiet you with his love, and exalt over you with loud singing. The Lord your God will fight for you. Don't be afraid, just believe. I have redeemed you, you are mine. You are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The Lord your God is with you wherever you go. He will never leave you or forsake you. He is an ever-present help in times of trouble. So these are just um, examples of verses that we could hang on to, that we can abide in, abiding in these um, verses, hanging on, believing that God who is he says he is. And um, fear turns into faith when we put our trust in God. And, and that faith, that believing, brings joy that God wants us to have. So I just want to challenge you all with this, that you find one verse that speaks to you in your situation, um, one promise of God that you can meditate on, that you can bring joy to in your circumstance. You guys have a great day. Love you. Um, hope to see you tomorrow at church. Bye-bye.